Uh, the first day I decided to get into martial arts, I was um, I actually used to walk up to a karate school that was in my neighborhood, and uh, I was always looking in the window, really afraid to go in because I didn't, I uh, no, I wanted to take martial arts, but I was afraid to go in. And so I used to come and look in the window, and one day the instructor walked around because he noticed that on certain days that you know this little kid would be standing there looking in the window. And he walked around there and tapped me on my shoulder and scared me. And he said, you know, if you're that afraid, you need to be here taking martial arts. I had a friend that was uh, lived in my neighborhood that was into martial arts. Uh, he was a guy that he was like 6'2", 175 pounds, and he was. Uh, we were walking home one day from a little league football practice, and a guy stopped his car and uh, was like, you know, saying things to us. And when the guy got out, he, uh, you know, put karate on him. And I thought to myself, right in there, I said, if I would have been by myself, I would have probably either ran or got scared or got kidnapped. I don't know what would have happened, but. That's when I knew, I said, that's what I need to know right there, you know? So I used to follow him up when he went to class, and uh, I would never tell him, I would just look in the window when he was in there taking class. Yeah. I had a lot of older brothers and sisters. I have uh, seven sisters and I have four brothers, and I was next to the uh, baby, so I was the 11th child. But uh, they really never picked on me. I was the smallest, they were all well, bigger. I have sisters that are like 6'2". You know, my dad was a pretty tall, pretty big man, and I ended up being, you know, 5'7 and 125 pounds, so. But that's part of it. Uh, I started just as I was like 14 years old, so I've been in it for about 23 years now. I really did it for myself. You know, I was very quiet in school, uh, very shy. And it, it was just something that I knew if I could do, it would help me as far as my confidence, you know, on just being able to go out and try to achieve anything I wanted other than thinking that my hype had something to do with it all the time. The, the team that I was on, uh, I tried out in 1985. We started trying out. It was a three-month tryout for the team. Um, it was a United States karate team, which was a semi-full contact type of sport, you know. Um, it was very hard, you know, I had a lot of guys in my division. Uh, one of the guys that I had to beat, he had been on the team for two years in a row representing the United States. And it was tough. It was a big challenge for me. It was something that a lot of people didn't think I could do because of, you know, skill level or hadn't had the opportunity to train with guys at that high level, you know, being in a small karate school, not living in the city. But I had faith in myself. That was one of the big reasons why I got into karate, to get that confidence. So it was more for me. You know, whether I would have made it or not, it was more because I took that opportunity to go there, to drive to Washington, D.C. and try out for it, just to say I did it, you know, just to prove to myself that, you know, I can try anything I want, whether I come to it or not, it was all up to me. The student becoming a master, uh, still working on the master part, but I always like kids, and, and I know what it took for me to go through the class, to get that confidence, being afraid, um, being shy. Uh, I wanted to give that back to someone, whether it's one person or six people or whatever, because you know, from just going to school, I knew like kids that was in my school that could have used martial arts, you know, getting picked on. I was one of them that got picked on, you know. And my big thing was once I learned karate, I'm going to teach it to those guys so we can all stand up with each other together, you know. So, and that was part. And I like people, you know. I like sharing my experience with other people. Back kick, turn kick, spin, go, kick, together, step, jump, turn, step, lock back. Step in, turn block, aim, one, two, turn, backside, backside, block, step and strike, cross, 
The best part about being a teacher is watching a student start with no balance, no confidence, no focus, and to achieve that level of black belt where you have to have um, the confidence and you have to have the the focus that they need, you know, to break a board or to spar against three or four guys coming at it. And that's my biggest thing. It's almost like I plant a garden, you know, and I watch my, my fruit and my vegetables grow and I go out there and I water them every day and make sure that the sun is shining on them. And, you know, I go out there and get the, 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 uh, the weeds from around them to make sure that they can grow. And that, that's, that's the way I look at what I'm doing here is I'm giving somebody that nourishment they need to be successful. The worst thing that's happened to me since I learned martial arts, um, that's a tough question. The reason why it's a tough question because from having a good instructor, he has taught me to avoid bad or evil, you know what I mean? You know, he's always like, you know, if you don't like this person, instead of saying nasty things about him or doing something to him, just try to avoid him. Uh, but I guess the worst thing that's happened was that I was teaching one day, and I had a gentleman to uh, walk in the door and walked into the class, you know, and um, really just tried to intimidate me in front of my students. That probably was one of my worst experiences to have because then I'm faced with all my students in here always talking about, when and when not to use karate and how to control yourself under pressure. And I have a guy walking off the street, you know, confronting me with, you know, that I'm thinking bad and I'm the instructor and I let somebody walk up the street into my dojo. And, but it was good because, again, my instructor taught me to say, relax, stay calm, you know, and uh, only use your karate when you need it, you know. And if you show confidence, you never have to use it. And that was one of my big things that I had to prove to my students and also myself at that time because I was faced with somebody walking in the door and and I had to make a decision, you know, that I was hoping I would not have to hit that guy. Uh, no, I didn't. And that, was, that was a good part, yeah. I could say that my best thing is what it has uh, made me over the years, you know what I mean? The confidence, owning my own business, um, and I have a patent on karate pads I've invented, you know, just that that's my joy, you know what I mean? That's what I got out of it and that's what I had in me, but I didn't know how to bring it out. Karate allowed me to bring it out. It's, it's, it's for life, you know, it's not something that they come here and do, you know, it's a big part of life and I just want to be a part of it, you know, any way I can. I'm living my dream, yeah, and I enjoy it. <laughs>